Hello everyone. This is a quick little video on a problem I've been having. I've been uh, designing a uh, boost regulator for driving power LEDs and uh, I took the time to um, put it up on a stripboard and uh, for some reason it wasn't working and I figured out that it's shorted the, uh, the power supply in this shorted and uh, I tried to remove a whole bunch of components but it was still shorted and eventually I went ahead and removed all the solder to the uh, ground connection in and it was still shorted between the ground and the positive supply which is I found was silly so I eventually figured out what the problem is and uh, this is a new type of uh, Vero board or strip board or uh, experimenters board. Uh, I've been using this uh, link, the ones with the copper links before and I thought I'd get some new ones because this one is really old, the one I'm using. But it turns out there's a bit of a problem with this model. Um, if you look close, it, it doesn't look very suspicious. They are the uh, regular copper islands and some kind of solder mask between. And it turns out that actually for some reason, which I have yet to determine, if we probe between two pads, there's a short there between pretty much most, not, not every pair, but a lot. If we probe around like here, there's a for some reason there's a short. It's not always the case, as I mentioned. Like sometimes here, for instance, there is there is no short, but if I probably if I go around a little bit, there'll be diagonal. Yeah. So this is a problem. I don't know if it's my fault or if this is just how these boards work, or if this one is a bad somehow a bad uh, sample, but yeah, stay away from these white boards. I pretty much wasted, uh, uh, I don't know, components for several euros. So I'm gonna have to switch to some uh, older, the older kind of board, but without the links, because the the islands are really nice. But yeah, don't buy these. Uh, that's about it.